So one of the first things I wanted to uh, to jump in. So the other day, and I just want to know how y'all would have reacted to that too. So the other day, you know, you had um, DW Flame sitting down with Adam Twenty Two, and um, you know, it was a little bit of a. It happened really quick, a little bit of a back and forth. But at some point in time, Adam Twenty Two called DW Flames a bad bitch. You know, uh, <laughs> DW Flames. Uh, he really didn't say much you know he just got up left jumped in his car got up out of there you know uh uh he didn't take it you know too kindly he didn't take it the right way so i just want to know y'all thoughts from it and, and like you know because you know y'all do podcasts you know and everything like that so if y'all sitting down and y'all get that type of reaction like how would y'all have took it you know somebody coming at y'all in that type of a way you know and everything like that so i want to start with you bumped and what was your thoughts from it man that's that that's some whole other shit like that was way out yeah, yeah. I really ain't got too much to say about it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, I ain't, yeah. So, <laughs> so, 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 so basically, you know, we'll leave it alone. Basically, what DW Flames did, it was understood, you know? For sure. Gotcha. Wait, so uh, you trying to say Adam called DW Flame a bad bitch? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and look, and this happened, you know, I ain't never taking up with no Adam 22. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Adam Twenty Two is trying to be funny. You know, you know, for, for and Adam Twenty Two is a white boy. Yeah, yeah, white boy. You know, they yeah, speak yeah. a little different. You know, we 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 ain't finna come at each other like that. Yeah. You know, we already know, like, hey, that's 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 fighting words when it come down to us. Hell yeah, you feel me? So so you know, I, I, DW Flames, I believe he did the res respectful thing. Everybody can say what they want to say. Oh, you should have did this or did that. Nah, he got up and got out of there. You feel me? So yeah. so I think he handled it the the, the mature. Right way, you know, but but that's kind of like the situation. What happened from the situation from it? So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know. Oh, hey, T, got, what's, what's your thoughts from? To say. Well, actually, I feel like Adam basically tries to see how far he can go mm. with black men, period, and their sexuality because it's like he started doing that when my husband was on the last podcast that he was on, talking about the gay crib and him sitting on his lap. My husband's just sitting there. The energy got very awkward because I know my husband. He's not going to call me. He's not going to. I have nothing to say about that because I don't have nothing against gays, but that's not me. It's not my, you know, my my forte, my thing. So I feel like when he did that with him, he's pushing to see how far he can take it. Yes, I can clearly hear that he was insinuating that he wants them to beg him to come or to be on him to show up to the party. That's the bad bitch energy he was talking about. Yeah. But in the constants he said it, I think he was trying to play that man to see if he was going to be okay with that. And to me, as a man, you should never be okay with that. Like you said, he did the right thing by getting up because you don't know what he would how he would have responded. So to be on the safe side, to stay free, he walked out. But that man does that to every black man on that podcast. He's going to say something about gay or homosexuality. Yeah. And to me, it's like a red flag. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no. I'm I've just seen straight yeah. through it, like you know. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Hey, man, one thing I always say is that when it come down to our black women, don't play with them. They come correct. They tell us how it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't play with them. You know. So, wait, wait you got some thoughts on the flames? Shit. Oh, same. I mean, I agree with the home girl at the end of the day because it's facts. She she said it. She couldn't have said it no better. But I feel like Adam come from a different, you know, background. Different from us, obviously. He probably, he he plays like that with his people. So I feel like DW Flame, they fuck with each other, but they need a conversation off camera. Like, bro, you just you know, that's what you do. Use a clown for that shit, but you know, don't do that shit again. Then after that, it's like, okay, now you're really disrespecting that nigga. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was some whole shit. Yeah. That was disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, he yeah. knew what he was doing though. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He 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 know what type of game he playing, you know, and he feel he could get away with it. But you know, you said something that made a lot of sense, Flames. You broke it down correct, you know, when you said uh, you know, it's something that hey, let's 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 handle this off camera, you know. Let's have this conversation beforehand. Mm -hmm. Because we can't be going on camera doing certain things that I'm not maybe maybe some people here are cool with it, but I'm not cool with it. Yeah, because he you knew what, what he saying? was he knew what he was doing. So it's like you should have talked to me about that before if you was gonna throw a little joke like that. So I could tell your ass, don't do that shit. Like shut yeah. that shit down. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. 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 But didn't it seem like he knew? Yeah. Because he said don't do I, it. he said, I no no disrespect. And he like, Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he trying to see how far he can go. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. testing that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, testing yeah. that man. Facts, facts. What was your thoughts, bro? When you saw it? You saw it too, right? You saw yeah, it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing I got to say about that is that, um, you know, I mean, for him to do that on camera, yeah, I'm I'm calling him out because, I mean, that's on camera. Everybody watching. So I'm going to call him a bitch, his mama a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go off. I'm going to just yeah, be camera. reckless. I ain't going to lie because we on camera. You feel me? Maybe it was off camera. I'll probably let it go because I know how white boys be. I know how they are. You feel me? They're a little different. They they do that gay shit sometimes. think it's cool. You know how white people are. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So they kind of think different than us. So I probably like you know push on if it was like off camera, but on camera, nah, man, I'm about to tell you off, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, we are gonna get down. If, we, if it take, if it go that far, then hey, it's gonna go that far. But I mean, if we just keep with the words, and yeah, I'm cussing you out. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that. You know, I ain't, I ain't gonna get embarrassed on camera and just, while everybody watching. That just ain't gonna happen. You yeah. feel me? So yeah, yeah. I think he should at least say something or he did something. You know, uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I feel. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, because that white boy embarrassing a, a black man like that on camera is kind of like making us look bad and everybody yeah. watching is like yeah you know he listened to the master you know what i'm saying it kind of yeah, looked yeah. like that in a way you feel me everybody will read it yeah you know what i'm saying like people that's watching like yeah you better listen boy like you know what i'm saying who knows like white boy out there watching like yeah laughing at like yeah he told him yeah. you know what i'm saying so i see how people are taking that's why i said like oh yeah it's gonna go down you feel me yeah. and i think you should have did something yeah definitely Facts. yeah for real yeah, yeah. You know, I, I got respect for some of the individuals over there. I mean, especially, you know, like uh, DW Flames. You know, he came over here and did his thing a couple of times. None but love, you know, and respect. And I think he handled, you know, that situation right. But, you know, uh, uh, and somebody said it best. You know, Adam, he trying to, he testing situations, you know, and he know he could get away with it. You know, the only thing I always say, man, and I wish that individuals would understand this. Everybody there could leave and have their own platform going and they'll be popping. They don't need Adam. You know, a lot of times I be thinking when I ha when I see them have conversations, I be like, and Adam say crazy shit and they don't be feeling it. I'm like, why y'all feel y'all need to be there, though? You see what happened when AD left. You see what happened when T-Real left. They went through the roof. They popping. You know, when it come down to the individuals that's over there, the DWs, the, the Bricks, the Sharps, and all of them individuals, y'all don't need that platform. So I look at it like, what y'all even there for when y'all when you, getting disrespected like this by, you know, I call them Daddy Warbucks, you know, <laughs> like from Annie, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, you know, that's how he treat, you know, a lot of the, I feel he treat the black dudes over there like the slaves. That's just the way I feel about it, you know, but it's all individuals that y'all all hold y'all own, y'all all strong. You know, we at a place now, man, where we don't need anybody. Man, we don't. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, look, look, look at you, bro. You, 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 you serve. 13, you got out, you strong though. You got out independent, doing your own, you don't need nobody. Man. You know, you could run around here and make money in your sleep. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's what we able to do now. You know, back in the days, yeah, we may have to do deals and do this and, and everything like that. We don't need no deals anymore. We could just go out there independently and make our bread. I don't, I don't understand why any black man out here nowadays think they need to be running behind any white dude. Well, you, you know, know what, what I'm saying? And everything like that. By age 30, most black men has lost their fight. I think that's what he do to test because he told my husband, you look like, remember when we said Yeah, him, yeah, and that was like crazy. You look like the type of individual that wouldn't let nothing slide if I put you in a room with a person you had a problem with. <laughs> For him saying that to my husband, it made me automatically feel like you feel the opposite about the dudes that you be around. Facts. Oh, mm. oh. facts. Man, she got a mouthpiece. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that's what I told that Bob the deep. last. I said, you got a good one right deep. there, right? <laughs> make sure, you know, keep that, you know what I'm saying? Keep that going. Keep that going. You know, but no, you make a lot of sense when it come down to that, you know. And, and I, I just hope when it come down to our people, they hearing what we saying, you know, and, and they listening. Because at the end of the day, man, you stronger. We for, for one, I look at it like we stronger together. As, a, as, as people we see all these other communities out there we don't see them separated i don't care what they going through i don't care what they dealing with in house they don't bring that out house and they keep each they keep it they keep their culture strong why we can't do that we the only culture that's divided think about that only in, the only, only on the west coast yeah yeah you know why why is we it? so far away from our roots Facts. like california where is the we don't drive past a old slave um how homes are old cotton fields, but if down south they do, so yeah. it's still a, it's still in the back of their mind that where we come from. Yeah, but yeah. here in California, it's all we see Hispanic this or Asian this. It's no culture here for us. So where's the reminder of us of our struggle where we come from? Mm. So it's easiest to hate on a person that look like you, they look just like you, yeah, yeah. because you're not reminded where we come from and how we stuck together to get here. Yeah, yeah. Facts. So it's really just on the West Coast. Facts. That's why gang became our culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean that's facts. You know, it was it was something to bring us to 
that's the way it started off. It was something that, to bring us together. Because there was a lot of stuff that, you know, I had um, Donald, Donald Archie, triple, I call him Triple OG, you know, um, who was here at one point in time. And he was the one who, um, you know, was one of the originators with Tookie and all them, you know, um, from day one. And he was talking about how when they first started it, it was a lot of issues with the police and, and you know, when it come down to the community with other and coaches, racist. you know, white whites and everything like that. So they came together specifically to help fight against all of that. So we know when it come down to the roots of that, where it come from. We never built nothing to go against each other. Yeah, things like that happen later, but we never built nothing for that. And exactly. guess what? It's up to us to, to resolve it. It's up to us to fix it. You know, and that's why these conversations are important. So I'm glad that we now coming together and we talking about these things. And I just want to say to the DWs, even the Brick Babies, you know, to all y'all over there, Poetic Flacos, y'all all better doing y'all own thing. And we stronger together as a culture, as a community, when it come down to us. Over there, no jumper. Yeah, y'all getting, you know, y'all y'all getting some likes and views. But trust me, it's so much further you could go when it come down to building with us and doing and building your own platform. I own the mission that a living is so this right here was my vision. Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention. The haters they can hate as long as they listen to the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting. Heavyweight flow, you not in my position.